it's a historical exhibition, absolutely. This exhibition really demonstrates the legacy of really genius here in Detroit, Michigan. It's about artists who engage with each other and support each other and build with each other. And I think that's the biggest thing. We are located at Cranbrook Museum of Art in Bloomfield Hills, um, right next to the Academy. The idea of this exhibition actually came through curator Laura Mott. We thought about the last 10 years of uh, Detroit contemporary art for black realism and highlight, you know, the artists that we wanted to highlight. This is the all-star game right here. You know, everybody in here is an incre absolutely incredible painter and artist. The name of the exhibition is Skilled Labor, Black Realism in Detroit. And what I believe it means specifically for me uh, as a co-curator is thinking about labor in general, um, but specifically labor in Detroit. So each artist in the exhibition handles that uh, differently. So everybody's work does not look the same. Uh, they don't approach realism the same, um, but it's a spectrum of, of artistic ideas that are approaching this subject matter. I like how it touches every corner of, of a black experience in, in each portrait. I think one successful way that this exhibition carries the black body or the black narrative is that it showcases a number of artists who have a diverse, although similar and yet dynamic narrative uh, that isn't just confined to the identity, the political identity of blackness itself, which is just based on the colorism of it, but more so people's background, talking about uh, themes of liberation, themes of empowerment, uh, empathy, uh, themes of even migration. You know, you also see moments of joy, families bonding, uh, pain. So it's it, it's successful in the sense that it gives artists the opportunity and also the viewers to who, who come to see the show uh, a, a big depth and breadth and scope of like all these narratives combined. You'll see uh, a lot of work that deals with the muralistic tradition in Detroit and there's drawing, there's um, painting, and there's also an aspect of installation, specifically Rashawn Rucker's work and Sidney James' work. So there's all of these different aspects for viewers to kind of really get involved in something beyond their general idea when they think about realistic art. For me to be a part of this conversation of Detroit realism, of Detroit legacy, is truly an honor. My painting is hanging alongside Huber Massey, who was my teacher, who, who literally provided me the foundations of figure drawing. So it is truly an honor. My painting is titled Bound for the Land of Canaan Land, which is really very much inspired by Detroit's history with the Underground Railroad. One of the hymns that was sang during um, the enslaved route was a song called Bound for the Land of Canaan Land. And so Canaan Land was code word for Canada. My interpretation of Black realism is, for me, is trying to paint the Black soul. Um, I'm trying my hardest to portray Blackness in a way that conveys a lot of vulnerability, intimacy, and asks the viewer to interrogate and investigate what they're seeing and what they're perceiving. Derek behind me is my best friend's brother. Derek is full of culture. Now from his, the way his hat, the way he put, ties his bandana around the hat, to his earrings, to his chains, to everything. And these are things that we have kind of pushed culturally for so long in like the pockets of our society. It gets to the point where people judge these attributes of blackness as a negative of blackness and not a, a wholeness of it and not a beautiful part of it. And it's not negative, it's, it's culture, it's bravado, it's beautiful. It's, there's nothing, he's not doing anything wrong. So I like to paint him in his state and ask you, if you do have a problem, if you do feel uneasy with this type of image of, of blackness, then where is that coming from? So there are two pieces that I have in this exhibition. Uh, one uh, called Yonder is a piece that was made in 2018 uh, upon graduating here in Cranbrook. The other piece is called Menorah's Volter. And it's a portrait of my wife with her hair braided. And Laura Ma came to my studio and she, she brought up this idea of the anti-portrait, which is a, a discussion that her and Mario Ma were having. I like to pull the viewer in, which is why I feel like realism is really important to me, because I want you to feel like as the person looking at the work that you can walk into the space 
or that the figures in the work are engaging with you in some kind of way. The work that I have in this show is older work. Uh, one work that I made last year uh, during my exhibition that had to deal with the uh, Underground Railroad and, and contemporary Detroit. And then uh, another painting that had to do with uh, medical experimentation on black bodies. What I hope the viewers take from this exhibition is the, the great or bigger sense of love and vulnerability and coping me mechanisms and the drive for growth and liberation. I hope that viewers understand the rich legacy of Black artists in Detroit to understand that, you know, we're here, we've always been here, and as we are looking at younger generations that this legacy will continue. There's so much talent and there's so much richness and, and, and cultural depth that I would hope that when people see this and they say, oh, everybody here's a Detroit artist, they take a trip down to the D. That's what I hope. Watch One Detroit, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.